after briefing, um, we get kind of our plan, what we're going to do mornings or we'll spend a little bit of time getting our equipment ready. Being on an engine, we don't always know what we're going to be doing, unlike some of the crews, which are really, you know, they have a specific role and that's what they do. We could be doing anything. So we're attached to a strike team, which is five engines and a tender, as I said in earlier videos. We could be called on to be doing supporting hand crews. We could become a hand crew. We can become saw teams. We can become anything. So a pack uh, and equipment for someone on a Type 6 engine has got to be really versatile. So that's what's really nice about <clears throat> this is, um, I forget the model of it, but you can kind of strip it down and run just for engine with just water and limited, a limited bag here for tools. And you've always got your shelter and fusies on there. If you're going to be going off away from the engine digging hand line, for example, you can add the pack here to it, which you can put lunch in or carry equipment or appliances, water, it gives you more storage but you don't always have to carry it. So you'll take a hotshot crew or a dedicated crew, they're going to have a bag that's gonna be all permanent. They need all that stuff all the time, but us on engines, we don't. So it's really modular. So I'll add this or take it away according to whatever that we're doing and whatever is gonna best be easiest um, uh, to get the job done. Extra protection today. I thought I'd share this chipper with you. It's a, a track mounted diesel powered chipper that we've been using for brushing out. It's really a cool tool. If you look here, this is how it's operated with a, uh, is it wireless or Bluetooth? It's just wireless, yeah. A wireless remote control, so he runs it from this. It's got a magnet on it, so you can stick it or wear it around your neck. Pretty cool. Don't run over that thing. No, God, no. <laughs> Part of the prep is sharpening tools. It's amazing how much different, or how much better a tool works when it's sharp. You know, most people buy a shovel and use it and never even think about sharpening it or hose or anything like that. But it makes all the difference in the world. It just takes a few minutes to get the mix out of them. tool with me we've got lots of different choices we've got McLeods and combi tools and Pulaski's and stuff on the engine but I find that the handles are so short for everything I think they kind of gear fire tool handles for the average person so I bring my own uh, I used to just use a rogue hoe uh, and I like it because it's got a long handle on it I don't have to <laughs> bend over so far it's a little bit easier on the back when you're taller I like to see what's inside of a firefighter lunch so we get a uh, hot breakfast in the morning, then they pack us uh, brown bag lunches. And I usually wait to see what's inside so I have a nice surprise come lunchtime. But we'll uh, break that rule for you guys today. Okay, so we got uh, a little bag with some small condiments in there. Cholula hot sauce. That tells me that there's going to be a Mexican flavor to the whole thing. Some mayonnaise and uh, napkin fork. We've got, what else do we have in here? So we've got a Ziploc baggie with some goodies, baked pita bread, chips, everything baked, sweet and salty nut mix, we've got Del Monte mixed fruit in a tin, another trail mix. Now this is a new one for me, a moon pie. I've heard of these, I've never even tasted, never tasted one before. This must be a southern thing. Is this a southern thing? Ah, uh, yeah, you can say that. It's a moon pie? It's my favorite. The moon pie, we've got a uh, chicken breast sandwich on wheat. We've got uh, two eggs, hard boiled. Unfortunately, no salt here. Raisins? Seedless, pita breads, what's this, a bean, a bean mix, I'm probably not going to eat that, and then a hateful red delicious apple, the worst apples in the world, but better than nothing, I'd actually rather see a banana to get the potassium, but that's it, that is a atypical fire, wildland firefighter brown bag lunch.